welcome back to the link everybody we are talking about physical fitness and athletics and so i've been really really looking forward to this uh interview because i have just rosario and Rocky alcantara in the zoom room right now two proud gw alumni and if you know anything about high school sports on guam you know gw has, gw can never go like a couple quarters without being like one of the most dominant athletic programs and, and i know from all of my friends at gw from having played there playing with them playing against them uh gecko pride has always been uh one of the biggest things so jesse and roki are joining us right now talking about a fundraiser they're doing uh to help the fitness program at gw because you know like uh, uh, public schools could use a lot of help so guys welcome to the show you know always good to have you here and you know thanks for doing this to uh you know give young student athletes you know like the best possible opportunities they can have Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Spreading thank the you. word. All right. Yeah. And it, I guess it's so incumbent on, upon, you know, you guys as alumni to say, you know, that's our school. It's our home away from home. You know, we got to give back. And but, you know, who started the conversation and how did this whole thing, you know, come about about like, you know, we, we have to help the GW athletic program? Um, I think I, I think it started last year, like right around when COVID started, you know, we were uh, we have this little uh, WhatsApp chat with um, with our class, and we are trying to figure out what we're going to do for our 20th reunion. And um, some of us were like, let's get together. Some of us were like, we can't get together because we can't gather and that whole thing. So we we're just trying to figure out something to do. And we said, OK, if we can't get together and we can't party, because that's usually what what classes do, right? When it's your 20th reunion. For the 20th, yeah. yeah. My 30th oh. is next year, so we're, we're all like taking Metamucil and, you know, just like reading books. <laughs> yeah. So we are so we are like, okay, if, if we're not going to get together and we're not going to party, what are some other things that we can do? And people started throwing things out there and we said, okay, well, let's try to give back to the school. Let's give back to the kids. And uh, Roki and I and uh, one of our other classmates, Vince Orha, we went we contacted GW. We asked them to come to the school, what they needed help with. And they showed us a bunch of classrooms that needed some like cleaning and stuff like that because they were just being used for storage. And uh, we took a, a, a tour of the campus and then we, we went into the weight room and we saw that it looked the same like it did 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And we said, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to raise funds and we're going to help the kids to uh to have a nice facility that they can come in and they can uh they can work out they can stay healthy and we decided to do that we also partied but you know that was this, like this is our main goal mm -hmm. and and i think roki yes. you know like yeah roki you can take you can take over but you know i mean that's a lesson that you guys are going to hand down to these young geckos and everything that certainly is going to make a, an impression upon them and be able to carry with them for the rest of their lives and maybe by the time they get to their 20th reunion they're going to say hey you know a previous school uh, the class of 01 did something for us we got to give back to our school because that's you know that's just who we are as a gw community definitely that's that's another one of our intentions is to try and just um you know just encourage everybody to kind of give back in in any way means possible you know i mean we're gonna need a collective effort of uh, other classes as well because we have a pretty high goal to reach, but it's it's very much reachable and the cause is where it's at. You know, we we definitely want to give these kids a better opportunity, more resources to utilize and uh, more education on it, too. You know, like it doesn't just stop with working out, but also afterwards, like what they can put in their body, what's best for them. And it's nice to work with Jesse and, and the Boca Box to help encourage that and help uh, uh, promote that, you know, because, yes, like Jesse said, we graduated 20 years ago, but that gym equipment in there was there when we were freshmen. So it, it, there is a time for change, and, I, and I'm, we're hoping and praying that this is that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and both of you have such a strong connection, and, you know, your families do, to you know, to athletics <coughs> and in, in very positive ways. Um, so, like, Jess, are you, are you also looking at, um, you know, maybe making suggestions, you know, if not direct contributions to the school and saying, you know, we would also n not only like to improve uh, the current athletic facilities, but maybe also, like, modernize it? Certainly well, equi I mean, equipment's gotten better, you know, different, you know, the materials are different. Yeah, I, you know, when we walked in there, like, like we said, it was, it's all things that have been there since the 70s, you know, we walked A hot tub time machine, for sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. You know, like, I, I spent a good amount of my lunchtime, my sophomore and junior year in, in the weight room, you know, I played football for GW, Wilkie played baseball. True and, story. You know, we, 
we want to get the kids to have something that's more up to date. You know, the, the dumbbells that are in there are like, they're, they're rusted over, you know, and a lot of the equipment that's there, it doesn't work, you know, and, you know, like, like Rooks said, um, you know, my business is focused on health. His business is focused on, on health and, and, you know, providing healthy snacks for, for the community, you know, with, with everything that's going on right now, vax or unvax, that situation, that discussion is going to go on forever, but we can always agree that the healthier you are, the better chance you're going to have at fighting COVID, the better chance you're going to have at fighting any disease that comes our way. And so we wanted to take a, a proactive approach in getting our kids to understand health, to get them healthy, to keep them active. And we feel like, you know, this is going to be our, our contribution. We have a, a GoFundMe page that we can send you guys later and we can send out and, you know, people can, can share it. Uh, Absolutely. The goal is $50,000. Um, and that's, you know, that's just to retrofit the, the room with like new uh, sets for uh, uh, new squatting racks, new dumbbells, new kettlebells and, and things like that, you know, and that's just a little bit of what we want to do. And hopefully we can do more, but, mm -hmm. you know, I, we got to take the first step at least. Outstanding. Now, uh, gentlemen, how does it, how does it make you both feel, you know, to be to be alumni of, of a school with so much tradition and history and, you know, like a responsibility upon you. It's like, hey, you know, we're not just giving you, you know, this legacy. You go to GW and you're, you're automatically, you know, top of the food chain. You know, you guys have to earn those school colors. And if you guys come out and, you know, like, like Jesse said, you played football. And when you have, you know, GW on your chest and, you know, Roki played baseball. And, you know, I remember like all the volleyball players, you wear that shirt that says Washington Volleyball. There's a real history behind that. So how, how does it make you guys feel? And I guess Roke will start with you because, you know, your crew, I don't think it's coincidence yeah. at all that, that, you know, your crew down there at Mighty Purple, that's also your school <laughs> colors. Are, are, can we see, right, can we see right. that acai ball with like purple uh, and gold? You know, honestly, man, I, you know, Manila was my village too, so it's no yep. coincidence. I went to GW, uh, my brother Steve and my brother Ryan, they played football too. So I grew up watching them as a young, uh, young high school student. Um, but also too the fact that it was one of the like initial high schools to ever be like built i think was it back in the 60s i remember my dad and mom talking about moving from talk to or from my mong mong up to gw when it was first built and so yes very much rich in history um you can just feel it when you walk through the halls when you when you walk around the campus you can just feel the energy in there that's been there for decades you know mm -hmm. And you're right, that purple and gold, you know, like whoever decided those colors years ago must have had something going because, you know, those are the colors of rain, right? And it's like so much pride. You, you, you said it. You know, we we are, this is why we want to do this. And it's funny because Jesse messaged it messaged yesterday, like both our kids go to FD. And it's like, you know, oh we boy. just wanted to provide <laughs> something for them. And sorry, TB, I mentioned it this time, but... You know, we're, and that's nothing to take away from our alma mater. We love it so much that we're willing to give back to it. But for our kids' sake, we just wanted to provide them the better, the best opportunity possible to, to, to you know, progress in their in their young 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 teenage life. But mm -hmm. again, we we were we were inspired to see and motivated to see their facility and see what our kids are are utilizing. And we're like, you know, why not us? Why not these kids? Man, let's 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 initiate do the initiative and, and and help them help them out right on they, they deserve it too I, I have this conversation with my son all the time you know the the first uh they're supposed to have a game today or tonight but uh you know game got canceled uh but he's always like dad are you gonna wear uh maroon and gold i'm like hell no <laughs> well i think i think you get a pass you, you get a pass you get the dad pass for that you know Completely, completely understandable. But and you know, like it's we talk about the history of GW. You know, Chris is an alumni, of course, and everything. And GW has always been like so big. Like I remember my uncles telling me about the time when GW. You know, it wasn't GW versus JFK or GW versus GCC or or GW versus Ocean View. Like in sports, it was GW itself had like geckos versus warriors. I mean, they had teams within the same school. You're right. Yeah, so there's there's a I lot a lot of, of students. Well, speaking speaking of big, how big is the class of 2001, and how many of your uh, of your classmates have you guys enlisted to help with this endeavor? Uh, I think there's a, our graduating class. There was about 400 something. Good uh, grief. So, um, and you know we we got a, a good amount of of our classmates together, maybe about 100 something. And uh, other than our class, we we've been in touch with other classes, class of 
uh, 2000 class of 99 and some some other alumni. And a lot of these classes have not been able to do anything because of COVID. And so we're we're reaching out to them, reaching out to all the other classes and and telling them to join us. You know, let's, you know, we're we're the ones starting it, but you know, this is a, an alumni thing. So let's uh let's all get together, let's get the classes together, let's raise some money for the school. Outstanding. I can just hear as you guys are talking, I can hear like the GW cheerleaders like saying that thing. You would always hear this thunderous words. We are the mighty mighty, we are the mighty mighty, yeah. we are the mighty mighty yeah. get goes. Get goes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys ruined yeah. all four of my homecomings in for football, all four of my years. I went to Sanchez, so you know, we're, we're 0 and 4 against you guys, but you know, hey, but total respect for what you guys are doing and for your school. Um, if people would like to, you know, if they've been inspired by this or you know, they have a connection to GW or they just want to help out. Um, how can they contact you guys if, if, if they feel, you know, um, a calling to get involved? Call, call Roki. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a Don't bother Juby. Juby's busy. That's diplomatic right there, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, so sure. Roke, how can they contact, contact you? Me. Yeah, 747-4579. If they like to give a, you know, get, get a hold of um, the link as well so they can share it as well. So. We can get everybody um, on it. Like you said, everybody has a connection with GW, whether you're class of, my, my parents were class of 68, I think, something around there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, anybody, my, my brother's class of 97, 98, 03, all you guys, we're calling you guys out. Even the next year, 2002, help us out. Help help the kids out, man. Let's give them uh, let's give them that opportunity to get it if you deserve. So. Very good. Yes, get me up. Get us up. Again, we have our uh, our GoFundMe page that's active right now. Um, we'll we'll put the link out, but you can just go in there and search up uh, GW Class of 2001, and it'll pop up. And be the only one popping up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, guys, thanks so much. Please, let's touch base again because we, we really want to see how this project takes off. Thank you, guys. Right, right on, guys. Well. Right on, bro. Good work, guys. Thanks Appreciate so much. Get those. Yeah. Right on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Now me, now me not having been, went to GW, but having you know visited there like for sports and everything. I mean, you just you roll into the Nilao campus and you just feel like this again, this tradition, this energy, this presence from such a massive student body and everything like that. I mean, it, you know, it's an entire community unto itself, and I've always had like immense respect for GW. Amen. You know, I never knew how big a heart geckos have until I went to GW. Yeah. And again, the, the most dominant high school athlete I ever saw play like in my life, Danny Cepeda. Right on. Absolutely dominant. Every aspect of the game. Okay, this could turn into a whole other show. We start talking about great GW.